Crap. Uh, hey guys. It's, um, 2012-02. I got a little review for you guys. It's on, uh, this little baby right here. The Music Bullet. Don't know if you guys have ever seen a commercial for one of these before. I just got it tonight. Well, I gotta tell you, this baby's a beaut. It's awesome. It's really easy to use. Okay, so let's say I do the review. Ah, hold on. We're going to use my little Toshiba right here. Done. Alright, what we're going to do now is we're going to pop this. Now this is a retractable cord, but it does stick in one spot, which is a really nice thing. And to retract it back, all you gotta do is extend it all the way out, like so. Pull it back. See? It's a nice little cord too. Really thin. Um it works on practically anything. Like uh oh, if I got, if I could show you guys. I just plugged it into my phone. I could take it out. And uh I'm gonna set it on top of my computer right here. Now here's something that I find really nice about it. It has like a old like Motorola cell phone plug in. It has a little light to show you that it's on. It'll be red or purple, depending on what's it, what it's doing. If it's blue, it means that it's uh, it's not charging, but it's like on. If it's purple, that means it's charging and it's on. If it's just pure red, that means it's charging and it's off. If it's off, no charge at all. It's completely black. Well, off. I turn it on. Now I got some uh I got some good music. Uh, we're gonna go over here to my albums. Uh shut up Norton. I hate Norton. Alright, so we're gonna go down to uh my song which has no space. Well my album. There's only one song in the album, though. It's, uh, Money Man by Gorlizzo. And, uh, I'm gonna pause it first. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys a trick to get even more bass out of this thing. Uh, because, you know, if you're gonna go out and buy one after you watch this video, I really suggest that, uh, you do this. Is uh you pop it. See, it only pops up to that much, which doesn't really, you know, allow much bass and airflow. So I actually found out a trick in order to get it to uh, actually pump out more bass. And uh, I'm gonna set down the camera right now. <laughs> Okay, you want to extend it. And see, these are the lock points. These are the locks. You put the locks inside of there. It's going to take you a little bit of work the first time, but after a while, you start to get it perfect. And as you can see, <coughs> you can get a lot more airflow in there. Not to mention, this is actually really nice with bass. So I'm going to... I'm going to set it up there for right now, and then uh, I'm going to switch over to this. That's oh, my bars.
don't know if you guys could see it moving there, but it was moving quite a bit. Now, I don't know if you could notice the sound difference, but uh, I'm going to put the locks back into its original position. Not locked, but, um... Well. Okay, that's why I hate laptops, is because of the Snaptix touchpad thing. Right down there. Uh, this right there. But, um... Yeah, I'm gonna put it back into its position where it's not locked, but they say it's got more bass. I'm gonna show you a sound difference. First, I gotta lock it, then repop it. Notice it's not moving as much. Now we're going to put it back into the locked position. You want to wait until you hear it click on both sides, which it is. Then... No groups at all. Uh, not really that tiny though. Um... Now, to put this cord back correctly, because there is a cord cover, you will want to ah, pull it to where it uh, retracts so you want to pull it all the way out then some and you want to let it go if you want to just be careful it might whack you back okay you want to notice that there's this little tiny thing right here you want to push that in as much as you can now there is a uh, 35 millimeter cover on it that's your uh, well 3.5 millimeter not 35 You want to put that cover onto the plug in. Then you want to sort of slide it back like the cover onto the. Uh, I don't know what. Then, what you want to do is shut it off. And, uh. I'm going to close this. And, uh. What you're going to want to do for charging is, uh, I think it recommends about eight hours. I'm not quite sure. I haven't read the manual yet. But, uh, you want to take this. Uh, there's the plug in right there. I got it plugged into my Xbox. It's got the old school Motorola charger type USB. Plug it in, and as you can see, it's red or purple. I know it's showing a blue, but it's really a purple. Well, I tell you what, we wanted to get to the bottom of the water. Okay. Do it like a normal eight hours. And then you're ready to unplug. Oh, turn on my Xbox there. Shut off. There we are. And uh then you're ready to go. So I hope you guys go and get one of these little music bullets, uh, and I hope you have a good day. Thank you.